The low pay rate for caregivers means she's never had the money to travel internationally herself. I wouldn't have had the privilege of coming on this experience. Yet. I probably wouldn't have even gotten out of Hamilton, <laughs> let alone the country. It's very courageous. He's got the biggest heart and he's very determined. It was emotional for Mark and it was emotional for me too, um, seeing that what was just a sort of, could be seen just as, as fundraising that Mark does at home. This is what happens with the money he does. Mark pours his life, his heart, his love, his energy, his passion into his fundraising work and to see him actually seeing the other end of it, that was special for me. I'm going now. Oh, I think this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity, so yeah, it's going to be, it's a memorable event that I don't think I'll ever forget. So. Just seeing Mark meeting his kids, it's quite emotional. Yeah. That's why I stand in the background. Don't want to get caught crying. <laughs> It's ironic, really. Money raised selling chocolate in the swankiest shopping district in Auckland is teaching these Maasai women a world away about the potential risk of HIV and AIDS. Everyone wants to treat Mark to a song and a dance. By late afternoon, he's growing weary. Because of Mark's spasticity, um, huge energy goes into movements, and you know that, that's quite draining. So, um, so when Mark runs out of energy, uh, he just flakes, just blobs, and of course he is sitting down all day. We get an opportunity to change position many, many times. You can tell just by his eyes and his speech, he starts to like slur, like he won't hold a conversation. Thank you. It's been a long day, and there's just one thing Mark craves. Freedom out of my damn wheelchair. Go. Feel warm. The cold water sends his body into spasm. What we've done, we've got a great shot. <laughs> it's easier for some able bodied people to go to Africa. I wish I could do it by myself and don't rely on other people to do it for me. But that's a, re that's a, that's a reality. Why do it? It's a very sort of thing uh, you and I can easily do. Uh, for this kind of exercise, Mark, it takes a lot more effort. Um, but if we put in the same, if we put in a lot of effort, then he has the opportunities that you and I have. But then in the end, we have a sort of equalised experience, if, if I can put it that way. For breakfast, he's treated to goat stew. It's a local delicacy. Mark's keen to simply get on the road. There's a heavy schedule again. I try to report it because I don't, I don't like missing out on anything. 
Christopher? Yeah, Marcus. What are we doing? We're going to, actually, a slight change of plan, we're going to see the irrigation canal first. Why was like change of plan? Uh, that's what, um, I was just talking with Joyce and and Stephen and Julius, and that's what they've suggested. That will be a very short visit. Have you got concerns about the time today, Mark? Getting things done? No. No. No, no I just want to have, have a good day and don't miss anything else like yesterday. I've well written. Have, have organised it, we have to stick to it. Chris reckons they could skip a planned trip to a canal. Hello. Oh, we'll say mambo, which means hi. Mambo. Yeah. Mambo, jumbo. Yeah. <laughs> so we were just discussing um, what we're going to do, but we won't stay long at the canal. Yeah, okay. But we'll get you out when we get there. <laughs> Okay, if you consider the canal and go to see the Mark, Mark is keen to do everything that was on the schedule for today. Mm -hmm. but, but we should not over. We should not over. Sorry? If we is there, I think we can consider some of the things. So there is. Um, c can we do a short visit to the canal? That would be the question. Yeah, yes. Short is okay, okay. too. Jumbo! Jumbo! Jumbo. Everyone knows the canal's not going to be a tourist high spot. And pretty soon Mark sees that for himself. Much of the day is spent travelling to meet Mark's second child, Dismas. Dismas is 10 and hadn't seen the inside of a classroom until Mark's sponsorship. In, 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 Arusha, in Arusha, 16. Yeah. Yeah, 16 up. To... Yeah. Good. Yeah, very exciting. Mark takes enormous pride in the fact that his sponsor child is now in school. Good morning to you too. Jumbo. Jumbo. It's so good to be in Africa. I'm really, I'm really happy to come. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to None of the children are learning English yet. Where is he? 